Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we want to find the value of x in this given figure. A figure is this, we have a little right angle, 9 goes to AE, then 12, and then right angle from D to C, 5 length here, right angle again, C to B, 15, and B comes back to A, which is the length of x, which we need to find here. With just that information, can you figure out what the value of x here is and to solve this problem at least the way that i solved it here there is a common thing in geometry that students forget to do so that's the method i'm going to use here but i won't reveal it yet so pause this video see if you can figure out what the answer is what the value of x is but as always this is a learning channel let's go learn how to solve this problem here and here's the thing most geometry students don't realize that they can add lines to their picture, their figure here, okay? You don't just think in a little box here of what's given. You can create things, things that are true within the problem that can help you out, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create kind of a rectangle, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend line CB and such. I'm going to extend it, continue down that line here extend it here to some point i'll tail it off in a minute but i want to make a rectangle and i want to make a right angle here and actually let's use my little protractor so i have a right angle for consistency here right angle oh, i almost did it perfectly that's where the right angle spot's going to be right there connect it to e as such and i'm drawing it so that we have a right angle here and here we have rectangle, let's call this value F. What do we know about, well, our new rectangle? FC, since it's a rectangle, FC has the length of ED. They're the same length, so we have a 12 right here. DC, same length as EF, we have a five. That's good to know. Now, with all that information here, what, what, what can we get? Well, we know the length of FB is gonna be 12 plus 15. So F, B, that overall length added together is a 27, okay? How does that help us get this? It's not like this became one big triangle. Let's keep drawing lines. And just so you can see it, I'll use, I'll use pink here. I'm gonna connect E to B here. And now here we have to do another line, okay? Don't be afraid to add stuff to it. But let's go see this lovely line right here e b we want to find out what that length is how can we do that well we have it's really just a large right triangle we have triangle <laughs> a, i always do that triangle and right as an a triangle f e b b triangle f e b is a right triangle meaning pythagorean theorem works so we have that five squared, one of the legs, plus the other leg here, right triangle 27, plus 27 squared, is equal to our hypotenuse, let's just call it, in this case here, I don't know, c squared. We wanna find a little c here, okay? With that, we wanna solve for, well, c. We wanna find that length here. So five squared is easier to 25. Plus 25, 27 squared, don't have memorized. Look at my notes here, and I got, what is it, uh, 729. At some point I had it memorized. It equals to C squared. We had 25 and 729, and that's what, a uh, 754? Is that right, did I do it right? Yeah, I did it right, 754. Is equal to C squared. Okay, from there to get C by itself, C equals the square root of 754. Don't simplify that because we're going to use that value in a second here. Square root of 754. Students do that all the time. They get all gung-ho, say, oh, we got to go simplify it. No, 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 no. We're going to do it again. All right? Pythagorean theorem applies again. Look at this. This hypotenuse that we have, that c squared value, it's repeated again in one that has x that we need. So again, Pythagorean theorem with our triangle here, not an a, e, a, b. Now we have that triangle here, Pythagorean theorem, nine squared plus x squared, which we wanna find is equal to our c squared, square root of 754, all squared. Put a little break there. 
okay? 9 squared is an 81 plus x squared, which we don't know. Square root of 754 squared is 754. We want to subtract an 81. Oh, that was the worst 8. 81 of both sides right here. And what do we have x squared to be? x squared equals is 673. From there, I'm going to take that x is equal to the square root of 673. And as a decimal here, that approximates a 25.9422, approximately. But I like the square root better. Anyway, so there we got it. x equals the square root of 673. Not as neat of an answer as you maybe wanted here. But hey, we got the exact answer or the approximate if we want. Was this what you got? If it was, way to go. If not, well, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you learned something here. But if you got this a different way, that's what I really want to know. If you can write out how you got this a different way, that'd be awesome. So, anyway, as always, like the video, comment on this video, share this video here, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, this helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else in the YouTube world. So, as always here, thanks for watching.